for the given function, we're going to write an equation for the inverse of this function, then graph the function and its inverse on the same axis, and finally, give the domain and range of the function and its inverse. We'll start by finding the inverse of this function. There are three steps. Step one is to swap or interchange x and y. Step two, solve for y. And lastly, step three, replace y with inverse notation form. So we'll start with step one to swap x and y. We know that f of x is the same thing as y, so we're going to remove this and replace it with an x. We're going to remove the x and replace it with a y. When we do so, it's going to look like so. Moving on to the next step, step two, solve for y. To solve for y, we need to add 5 to each side, then divide by 4. Whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. And we have the value for y. And now that we've solved for y, moving on to step 3, remove y and replace it with the inverse notation form. And there you have the inverse of the given function.